Matchup. He's fighting the same person, essentially, down to the core, down to the DNA. But it will be Nikolas. Able to pick up where his brother left off against Rewind's Kotal, and this is Dark Souls boss Kotal that we're seeing from Rewind. He's trying to simply out damage these twins right now. Right now, can he even press a button? Rewind! The escape failed start. with Nicholas going for the smarter throw direction, throwing them out of the corner, because really, you don't need the con corner situation in this situation, right? Because you've got so much life, you only need to get one significant hit, really. Let's just get the escape failed, which no doubt will help out in the next round. Which most certainly will. We know how confident Rewind is with a bar and hello wave dash grab. When you're at forward two range, if you're afraid of forward two and looking for forward two, wave dash, wave dash grab might be free. <laughs> looking for a trip guard on that back one. Let's it rock and there Stop is the it. flawless block. God. Stop it. If you do anything faster, slower than 14 frames, these guys are flawless blocking it, apparently. Heck no, down two is like nine frames, 10 frames. They, they, they're just ridiculous. I do like this idea, though, with Rewind. Let's just go in with a character that's a bit beefier than most, has oh, really yeah. good damage, and has mix-ups that I can quite literally, regardless of skill level, I'll just throw these command grab mix-ups on you. You're going to get stand for this. I'm oh, sorry, this, totally. 100% safe. Like, even that forward two there after the second totem, that was a scary mix-up because, you know, raw command grab, that was going to do tons he's, of damage! He's dead. Amplified, looks like he doesn't have that meter. I would praise the sun just with the health lead, but if that's, where, that, that's where I would have died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might got a, you might got a Twitch clip, though, or something. <laughs> oh, you sure. know, something for the old Twitter analytics. And he uh, doesn't get it, though. Looks for the conversion. No one home. I died going for a God Rain MKX top four. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, you know, I'm a total player. They can throw hello 300 damage. Still had it. Locked and loaded. Two totems. Nico has barely whiffing that jump too. And one fight spark with 340, no. I think. Hello. Oh! My word. Is he gonna stack? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Cabal broke himself on that one. Two's already been spent. And that's it. That has to be. Bang! So much damage and the crowd on after one game. Slam. On the slam of the sword, the crowd erupted. As they know what's on the line here. They know the story. If Rewind loses, the first time ever in history, USA will lose any other round title, ladies and gentlemen. That's a monumental moment, both for the country that's going to be conceding it, and for, it, world. Yeah. And for, that for be taking it. South America, who's going to be able to really take that mantle. It's like I said, there's, there's so many mixed emotions here, because I'm going to be happy regardless of outcome. We can talk about this later down the line, because we have a match in front of us. 1-0 for Rewind, where this Kotal was looking a little bit more, purely because I mean, look, we've had more totems, we've had more damage, it's and opportunities. Ow. is what this Kotal has been. And Rewind, Remedy thought he made it out of the corner. Nico lost it, a flash of a cabal. Ooh. Wow, he's learning from earlier, not over committing when he sees how high people are getting on the 4-2. It's not going to matter. It's a closeout by Nico Loss. He's back in the boy. He's going to sharpen the blade? No. Just point and call him out. To say, you are next. Ooh. Ah, there's the 1-1-1. One, one, one. That's going to be a juicy double jump combo. Nico Loss, the knockdown. Woo! The jump back's going to be clean and even more damage piling on Rewind now with basically just a third left. Anna, oh, you're dead. You're so dead. Oh. Only has, yeah, zero bar. But this is a health episode that he would need three totems and a dream to make that comeback happen. Would have had to start it with at least a command grab, get some kind of knockdown in the corner, and then just start mixing your way into a comeback. Rewind not even given the opportunity here. As Nikolas is looking uh, crispy. Restart match. One apiece. For oh, that. Oh. I'm at a loss for words because the sword almost got him that would have KB'd and the other way around would have been four to damage. 
Yes, indeed. But I feel like we were almost frames off from seeing that. The frame one break and the jump to read the command grab. Every decision Nicholas is making has been on the money. And, and here comes even more of it. Oh, just that's what we talk about with Kotal Khan. Every command grab is a risk when you're fighting characters that can pump out what Cabal's able to do. But then on the flip side, look at this. Oh! He did it to this side. You can't even do anything about it. It's guaranteed right there, Ketchup. Nicholas is going to sit there and take that one. Ooh. I was a little bit nervous as to what was going to happen. Maybe a command grab there, but no jumping to be had. Minus frames. But it's barely minus that you could kind of set up for a flawless block. So. Good thing that didn't bite. Ooh. Only the forward two hit, so there's no confirm here. The jump back's good, and Nicholas gets another round on the board. Second time he's clutched out a round in those moments with a really good read against. That's a Cordal Con read. Jump back out of those ranges of the really big normals that are going to whiff forever. Cordal Con whiffs when he presses. Now the discus. I haven't seen much of that. There's a flawless block again. How he's been so surgical, I do not know. But the high jump in, that's Command Grab City and a damage buff with plenty more that came from. There's a totem, there's two totems, there's three! He's triple stacked, fully loaded! Oh, oh my goodness! 418 damage, that's a slice to the jaw! And Rewind's coming back to life. With Punish into another KP, that is the round. No, he drops it! Rewind's no! A missed opportunity and a chance for Nicholas to bring this one back. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. my Lord Aquaman, this is a stressful series. I'm not gonna lie, a sweat just went down my forehead because he he just held up right there and it'd be in the right region. What a match. We are going totems all day, every day in rewind situation now. The 1-1 one, one stagger, back-to-back -back poke, and oh, that's gonna hurt. Aquaman, how much damage? You know, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? That, that's a fair statement. Dash in, come on, grab. No meter for Amplify, but he's going to get Oki anyway. Are we going to use a totem? Yes. Which resets the time completely. If you guys don't know, back to zero. You have to fight some time, get another one, but he gets shimmy by the 4 2. Hesitated. A Very moment good. of hesitation is going to give Nicholas a full combo here. 34 plus frames. In this case, just a forward two. Nicholas sitting there, making the good read to sit and respect it. The jump two, really good. The down one to steal Woo! the turn. A conversion and no break. Nicholas knows that's way too risky. And what? Yeah. Oh, oh my god! My god! Not enough for the kill, but one of the greatest pickups I've ever seen in my life! Oh my goodness! I did not even know Cole Khan could pick up from a forward one. Like that. In that way, Rewinds now, 2-1 up on Nicholas, and you can feel the energy, it's in the air. It's electric, this crowd. They want to see North America in these finals. And the flawless blocks, fantastic, rewind! So much damage on Nicholas already in this first round here for potentially the final game. No breaker available either, and so much more damage to come. And the balls to put another totem. Nicholas really feeling the pressure. Rewind every totem he gets on the screen. Nikolas, it can die. Now, if he gets two up, and he grounded hit, he has baited out those air to air so well. He has sucked Nikolas from Cabal in here. Oh, but he goes into the forward two. A jump back from Nikolas is going to do it. This won't kill, but the next touch will. The big damage, and he up three. Going with the plus, or sorry, the safe wake up of Kotal Khan's, the up three, one of the best. We did not talked about enough. Kotal Khan's wake up game, both two of the best in this game. What the wavu wavu into command grab three totems. Oh. And oh. I'm sure you can hear this crowd. The down two, everything is working. So much damage, chopping him for another 452. One more, rewind, looking to create a highlight reel. There's the chance. America's feeling it. Nicolas needing a miracle. Rewind grabbing air as I am on commentary to try to close this out. The stagger game. The scary. That's the last breakaway Nicholas is going to get in this round. The up three for the safety. A confirm. A clean confirm from Nicholas. The fatal blow as well. Right. Stabilize. Calm down. A split second of room to move and figure out what we're going to do here because rewind. 
is one hit away. One hit away with Kotal. What's the decision going to be? Is Remind going to risk a wake up? No, but still going to And on reaction is going to keep the United States alive. Antia as clean as they come. Becoming only the second player to beat a twin offline. And you can see how much this means to the people in the crowd. There's a lot of people here.